I'm Jessica Gaddith, and this is your Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. John Smith starts us off with weather. Quite a bit of moisture across the state of New Mexico today with the remnants of Don helping out the monsoon flow. As we go into tomorrow, we'll continue with the chance of a few afternoon showers and storms, especially for the west and central parts of the state as well as the northern mountains. And those chances will continue as we go into our Wednesday. Hot conditions continue down into the southeast with temperatures in the triple digits for several locations. Then we start to dry things out as we head toward the weekend. The U.S. House this evening passed the compromise bill to raise the national debt limit by a margin of more than 100 votes. Democratic Congressman Martin Heinrich of Albuquerque voted for it. Democrat Ben Ray Lujan of Santa Fe and Republican Steve Pierce of Hobbs voted against it. The Senate is expected to take it up tomorrow. There is a Senate opposition in both parties to the deal, but how widespread isn't clear. Senator Jeff Bingaman says he's inclined to vote for the bill. Senator Tom Udall says it's not ideal, but because of the serious repercussions of defaulting we'll have on our country, we must pass it. The city today released photos of a mobile home where dozens of cats were found yesterday. Saturday. A warning, the pictures are very graphic. Police investigating a report of an extremely foul odor coming from the house near 98th and Central Northwest found 53 cats inside. There was trash, feces, and cat hair more than three feet deep in some areas. The woman who owns the house complained of feeling ill and was hospitalized. Her name and condition are not being released. Inspectors have now red tagged the home and no one can live there until it's cleaned. There's no decision yet on whether the woman will be charged. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.